Hey everyone, the company Wellpy that sent me the frame housing have been in touch and they've sent me this. It's the skeleton housing for the GoPro Hero 5 and I'm going to do an unboxing and give an honest review of this product just like my last video. If you haven't seen that video you can click the I in the top right hand corner and that'll take you to it or if you're interested in buying either of those products there will be links in the video description below. Anyway I'm going to crack on with the video, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it. Anyway, this is the box, it's really quite nice. It tells you on it that this is the skeleton housing, it's got, you know, the waterproof one or the skeleton. It says on the side about the features of each housing, it says the skeleton housing features open sides which allow direct access to the camera's ports for live feed video and charging. So the design also enables enhanced cooling and optimal audio capture during low speed activities. So there we go. Uh, for use in dry environments only, not waterproof. It's only not waterproof when you know the, the side doors either open or you've disconnected it. Let's open it up. Let's have a look what's inside. So we've got Wolpe invitation member card, nice. And here it is, nice in a nice little bag. Uh, action camera accessories. It says in a little bag here. So let's move that aside. Here it is, here's the, f the skeleton housing. <laughs> I need to call it the frame again. Uh, so yeah, it comes with a, a Wolpe thumb screw, just like the frame, and one of these little GoPro mounts with a little Wolpe logo across the front there, so that's nice. And it's got the little protective covers on there, so wow, that's really sticky. So that's nice and clean, oh god. <laughs> And it's got it on the back here. Easy installation. No need to detach the lens frame. So that's really cool. So here we go. Let's just let's just get this off as well. So just peel that off there. And yeah, of course that's an open open hole right there. God, that's super sticky. It feels exactly like any other GoPro housing. To be honest, I, you wouldn't know this is like a an off brand but yeah it's got the the side door there so it actually looks as though this one you will have to remove the door on the GoPro housing if you want access to that side panel there and again there's no button on the side it's, it's just put your finger in and turn it on okay so I've got the Hero 5 in the Wellpy frame <laughs> I'm loving it I'm using it all the time let's just try it in there and oh yes, that is nice. Close it up. Oops. Wow, that looks that looks really good. I mean, it looks kind of more like the Hero Three now, sort of. Now you can't see the actual lens filter on there, but yeah, it's really good. I'm really impressed. So one thing I do want to try out with this skeleton housing is how well it actually performs in water. Of course this will be with the side door on, I'm not going to take it off. Don't do that because it won't be waterproof, <laughs> won't be telling you that. Uh, but one thing I'm sort of interested in is if this is in water, will the water leak into the side and appear in front of the lens? I'm hoping not. I don't think it will because it's such a like snug fit and it should be fine. But I'm interested to see that, and I'm sure some of you guys that are wanting to buy this will also be interested in that. So let's go test it out and take a look. Okay, everyone. So I don't have a pool, but this will have to do. Now I'm going to dip the skeleton housing under the water and see if any of that water, in fact, leaks through to the lens. Now bear in mind that I have got the door on, so this is waterproof because the Hero Five is waterproof on its own. Don't try it without the door, I don't want you breaking your cameras. <laughs> okay, so let's just dip it in and try it. I haven't done it yet, I've just been waiting for this video. So, I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to turn it on and then we can see if any leaks through. Okay, it's recording, let's try it out. So it looks all right. <laughs> looks fine. 
There it is. Oh, actually, no. Wait. All right, so I can just see there. The water was actually running down the front of the screen. Right, so there is some water in the lens there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But just down the front, there's like a, a bit. Now, well, that was really full before. And it filled the entire way, and I saw it just creep down. So, I mean, water does get in the front of the lens, but I don't think that'll have any effect on how it films underwater. But I'll have to check the footage and find out. But other than that, I'd say it's fine. Bit of extra protection for using your GoPro in the water. Okay, everyone, so my overall impression of the Wolpe Skeleton Housing is that it's a really good product. I really like it. I'm not sure how much I'd actually use it over the frame housing. I think the frame housing is a little bit more convenient, especially with this side opening for the access to the door. However, I would very much use this if I was doing any extreme sports, maybe like cycling or if we were on a dirt bike, something like that, where stones might flick up at the camera. This added protection would be really nice and I'd definitely keep it in my bag for anything like that. I'm also glad to know that it's okay in water. You have got to remember that the water does fill up inside the front of the lens. So you might get that sort of water line across half of the screen as you film in. But that's not really a problem. I think if you were fully submerged or if you just waited a second after pulling the camera out of the water, you know, that water would just slide down the front and it would go. I think the record quality would be fine with that. Apart from that, I'm really pleased with this product. Thank you again, Wilpy, for sending me this. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe for future videos. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.